per people's requests and because we all know that this set is garbage, it's time to bring back a good old series called Do Not Buy. And today, it is Do Not Buy Rarity Collection 2. Let's dive on into it, shall we? Oh, this is going to be so scrumptily umptious good. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever-living boo-boo stain off that like and subscribe button, as well as that hitting that ding-dong Taco Bell notification bell, so we can climb even higher in the 1400 ladder now that I got all that out of my mouth and system. Pause, ladies and gentlemen, Rarity Collection 2, if you haven't seen it in the news, or if you've been underneath Patrick Starr's rock, or if you've been waiting for your boy to take a dump on it, it's the brand new Rarity Collection set and it is absolutely a g -g 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 garbage uh who wants a quarter century mst raise your hand raise your hand oh you in edison format of course you're gonna want one although i think that you'd be better off getting yourself uh oh okay i'm over the one minute part getting yourself a damn ghost rare but who be it to me to to deny you a quarter century mst because every single meta deck in the game is playing mst <laughs> Oh, and for those of you who wanted your Tried Dragon reprint because you didn't you didn't get in early like your boy, or you just didn't think you want to play the deck, and that's fine. It really does need a reprint. Uh, it's not going to be a Rarity Collection 2, Sugar Boo Bear. Um, it's not even going to be a QCR, even though it's been out since Raging Battle, which was like 2009. And uh, no, they're sticking it in the tins, which I remind you is a 400-card set, which is another set you should not be investing in because that is absolutely liquid ass with big old chunks inside. Uh, your chances of pulling a Triton Dragon, even if they made it a common in the tins, is uh, like, what, 2%? 2% of the 2%? Like, <laughs> what? It's going to be $30. It's probably going to be $50. Oh, my God. This set is garbage. You, you can tell that Konami got really money hungry with this because they couldn't keep Rarity Collection on the shelf. So they were crapping their pants in the meeting room and were like, okay, let's do a Rarity Collection numero dosi. And this time we're going to do like OG cards for OG formats. Not put in any sort of reprints that would look nice as a QCR or even just need a reprint. Whether it's Fenrir, uh, other cash cards. They put the planet cards in there, which... Fine, Pressure Planet needs a reprint, but we could always use another Fenrir reprint, another Unicorn reprint, Trident Dragion reprint, for God's sakes. Even, like, Droplets. I don't even think Droplets is in the set. I don't have it pulled up in front of me because it's garbage. I'm not going to waste my time. But there are so many things that they could have put in here that they just didn't. And when you look at the set list, it looks like that they're trying to appeal to, like, retro audiences, which is fine to a degree, but... When over half of your set sucks, like, and you put cards in that, like, no one's playing. Like, there was some spell card. I don't even remember the name. And it doesn't see any sort of meta play, but they threw it in because reasons, I guess. When instead they could have put in Trident Dragion. Like, you could have put Trident Dragion in Rarity Collection 2 as, like, a QCR that's kind of hard to pull. Then give it yet another reprint in the uh, the 400 card fucking set of the Megatons, like whatever. But instead, no, they punted the football because everybody and their mother is playing Mystical Space Typhoon in 2024 to pop a Sangin summoning, I guess. Like, oh my God, this set is so garbage. And it, it's funny because in case you didn't see my community post, the reason why I haven't posted in the past couple days as I pull up the set list here, is because of the fact that I was gone out of town uh, dealing with my eye tumors and stuff. And I ended up getting a comment from a subscriber talking about um, the Rarity Collection 2. And I had seen how garbage it was, and I was planning on making a video on it. But then once I got requested to do it, I'm like, you know what? We 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 rolling it on back. We're uh, we're good on our uh, our eye tumors. Everything's looking good now that I've got it pulled up here in front of me. Crossout's good. Twin Twister sucks. Uh, Foolish burials, whatever. Econ, I guess. Mind control, adorable. Uh, polymerization, why? And then they've got like other random stuff in here that isn't terrible, but it's just kind of like why. And it ends up all adding up to be a set that's honestly going to be really cheap. Like if you want cheap QCRs. This is going to be the way to do it. Like, you got Hope Harbinger in here, Dugaris, Exosister crap, because apparently Exosister's a good deck. It's not. It's liquid ass. Um, Seals, whatever. Apollosa, sure. Masquerina, Alternate Art, Dweller, Reflasia, uh, Borland, Access Code, Underworld Goddess, Gold Sark, because 
sure, I guess. Charge the Light Brigade, why not? Bingo Machine Go needed it, but the issue is, is that it's not a good card. It sucks. Um, cross out Designator, sure. A Droll and, like, the other hand traps is fine, but it's just, like, you're, these cards that are okay, they also have cards that just suck in the set. Like, I'm fine with having cards that are just, like, okay, uh, but then you have just stupid decisions, like, Super Nimble Mega Hamster and Raikou and Rescue Rabbit, where it's like, okay, if you're going to appeal to old audiences, I feel like that they're better off doing, like, mini side sets where it's not a 100 card set like what we saw with valiant smashes and whatever have it be like a 50 to 70 card set and have it be cards strictly for retro formats i think then you get the best of both worlds because then rarity collection 2 can be filled with a lot of other cards that people actually want to pick up who's playing rescue rabbit in 2024 um uh, you're probably at table 500 <laughs> and then what was this card the uh the sin in trail or whatever this thing is called yeah uh soul and luna like no one's playing that like what what, I don't even know what that card does. Like, what is that? And then you've got stuff that's kind of cool, like the Strike, Warning, Skill Drain, Anti-Spell, and Judgment, uh, which you should expect Anti-Spell to be banned. Now it's being reprinted again, and Skill Drain probably to go to one or be banned. And the purely cards are fine, um, but again, you're mixing in things that are just okay with other cards that are just dog water. And it makes no sense to me that Obviously, you could tell that they were just trying to nickel and dime and, you know, grab all the monies, you know, and just half-ass this set and put in things that are, you know, retro and cool, like Hyper Librarian, Trishula, whatever. Uh, but then you've got, like, Raikou and Mega Hamster that no one's playing in 2024. You've got the Silent Magician and Swordsman thing in here. Like, why? Like, only Table 500 decks are using that, if that. Um, you've got Illusion of Chaos and Saravis, which is great. Dragoons, which is great, even though no one's really playing Dragoons. Uh, and then you've got mixed in crap like the Blue Eyes Silver Dragon because they're getting a structure deck in September. That's probably going to be liquid ass too. I'm excited for it, but I'm, I'm afraid it's not going to be all that good. Um, yeah, and so all of this ends up compiling into a set that is like, why would you waste your money on this? Even if you want to buy it sealed, I would argue that Rarity Collection 1 would be something that would be better to invest in because it's the it was the first of its kind, and there is still a lot of cards that are played even today in that set. You keep that shit sealed, and you're going to make money, just like your boy did with the Stainless Steel God cards in the Kaiba briefcase. We bought them for the MSRP, and now the briefcases are like $1,200. The God cards are like almost a grand. Like, we've made money. Like, this is crazy. And then you've got Rarity Collection 2 that uh, if you buy this on pre-sale and the price is inflated to like over $100, you do you, Sugar Boo Bear. You're wasting your fucking money. I don't know why you would because this set is just dog water. Even the things that maybe are somewhat competitively viable, you're better off getting as singles because it's just going to be cheaper. Like, even if you're a purely player, why are you investing in this set? Because there's like, what, five or six cards in here for you? If that, buy them as singles. Congratulations. You have your $5 QCRs. Go play purely and lose to my anti-spell or my magic deflector. <laughs> oh my god. This, this set could have been so much more, right? Like, they could have just absolutely hollowed out like decks that have a bunch of commons they could have put trident dragon in here um you know they could have done qcrs of like old fusion monsters like even even chimera even though it's like a newer illusion archetype they could have put qcrs in there for them like could you imagine someone dropping out the chimera fusion that rips a card out of the hand at the end phase and it's a qcr like that's a nice little flex ladies and gentlemen but it is what it is. This this is hilarious to me. Once I got home and I looked at this set and I took the time to relax after four hours down at Palm Beach, that was a trip. Um, yeah, it's it's absolutely hilarious to me. But you put the planet field spells in here, Konami. Congratulations. Also, since Konami wants to make this about a Twitter post about bullying, I'm not trying to bully them. This is entertainment. I do not wish any harm on anyone at Konami. I hate that I have to fucking say that in this kind of video because... I don't know, Konami's triggered or something. Uh, do not buy this set. Uh, you, you, you want something to invest your money in? Go buy a Kaiba briefcase. Go buy stainless steel god cards. Go buy the 25th anniversary boxes that they reprinted. Keep that shit sealed for like five years and you're going to make thousands of dollars. Like, 
all but guaranteed. Guys, let me know what you think about this dog water set down below. Uh, I had to go in on this set and just drop a big old dookie bomb on it as uh, we're trying to play test for YCS Indy. Thank you for giving me an MST in 2024. I guess it's too much to ask to get a Trident Dragon. Oh, wait. Duh. Sorry, Konami. I gotta go ask my BFF. Let me just drive on down the road to my locals because everybody and their mama got themselves a Trident Dragon. Give me a fucking break. <laughs>